Hi, I'm back, uh, brothers and sisters. Today I'd like to share uh, some part of the video clip and then uh, read, the, read the comments under uh, in the video. This is uh, so amazing. I was uh, really, really impressed. So you can see the title just. This is the Bible's radical view. Anyway, so I'm gonna um, let's watch it first to some part. Yeah, why is that? Why do humans care so much about justice? Well, the Bible has a fascinating response to that question. On page one, humans are set apart from all other creatures as the image of God. Yeah, God's representatives who rule the world by his definition of good and evil. And this identity, it's the bedrock of the Bible's view of justice. All humans are equal before God and have the right to be treated with dignity and fairness no matter who you are. And that would be nice if we all did that, but we know how the world really works. And the Bible addresses that too. It shows how we are constantly redefining good and evil to our own advantage at the expense of others. Yeah, self-preservation. And the weaker someone is, the easier it is to take advantage of them. And so in the biblical story, we see this happening on a personal level, but also in families, and then in communities, and in whole civilizations that create injustice, especially towards the vulnerable. But the story doesn't end there. Out of this whole mess, God chose a man named Abraham to start a new kind of family. Specifically, Abraham was to teach his family to keep the way of the Lord by doing righteousness and justice. Yeah, doing righteousness, that's a Bible word I don't really use, but what comes to mind is being a good person. But what does that even mean, being good? The biblical Hebrew word for righteousness is tzedakah, and it's more specific. It's an ethical standard that refers to right relationships between people. It's about treating others as the image of God, with the God-given dignity they deserve. And this word justice, it's the Hebrew word mishpat. It can refer to retributive justice. Like if I steal something, I pay the consequences. Exactly. Yet most often in the Bible, mishpat refers to restorative justice. It means going a step further, actually seeking out vulnerable people who are being taken advantage of and helping them. Yeah, some people call this charity. But mishpat involves way more. It means taking steps to advocate for the vulnerable and changing social structures to prevent injustice. So justice and righteousness are about a radical, selfless way of life. Yeah, and you find this idea all over the Bible. Like here, in the book of Proverbs, what does it mean to bring about just righteousness? Open your mouth for those who can't speak for themselves. And what do these words mean for the prophets, like Jeremiah? Rescue the disadvantaged and don't tolerate oppression or violence against the immigrant, the orphan, and the widow. And like here, look in the book of Psalms. The Lord God upholds justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry, and sets the prisoner free. But he thwarts the way of the wicked. Whoa, he thwarts the wicked? Yeah, in Hebrew, the word wicked is rasha. It means guilty or in the wrong. It refers to someone who mistreats another human, ignoring their dignity as an image of God. So justice and righteousness is a big deal to God. Yes, it's what Abraham's family, the Israelites, were to be all about. They ended up as immigrant slaves, being oppressed unjustly in Egypt. And so God confronted Egypt's evil, declaring them to be rasha, guilty of injustice. And so he rescued Israel. But the tragic irony of the Old Testament story is that these redeemed people went on to commit the same acts of injustice against the vulnerable. And so God sent prophets who declared Israel guilty. But they weren't the only ones. There's injustice everywhere. Yeah, some people actively perpetrate injustice. Others receive benefits or privileges from unjust social structures they take for granted. And sadly, history has shown that when the oppressed gain power, they often become oppressors themselves. So we all participate in injustice, actively or passively, even unintentionally. We're all the guilty ones. And so this is the surprising message of the biblical story. God's response to humanity's legacy of injustice is to give us a gift, the life of Jesus. He... Oh, I can share more longer, but I want to leave uh, the other, uh, some left part. 
uh, the you know you probably go and check uh, from the beginning and the end of this video because you even repeat what repeat watching I think is gonna be very beneficial too because this uh, justice or injustice righteousness the this all words are very um, profound and deep it's not easy to come comprehensive but uh, at least uh, the part we watch it has a very very wonderful messages already there with the Bible verses so like a biblical view of justice and how Bible shows like um, radically uh, what is what justice is all about so um, through the Bible we have to read uh, these whole things actually uh, I'm gonna share later I was reading uh, the poverty and justice Bible actually it's a contemporary uh, English version English Bible but the, it's really really focus on the injustice you know talk about this whole should you know the message is mentioning so I'm gonna today uh, the other day when I watched this uh, clip I was uh, compared to oh I have to share this wonderful video even uh, with my subscribers well, who uh, happen to come to meet this video uh, just to this, this channel uh, I wanted to share because I was looking for uh, all on the uh, the comment section there was uh, no um, Bible project comment you can see why because it, it is already in the video enough about justice then when i was wondering uh, and i was uh, checking the comments i saw some uh, believers and some commenters left some messages was amazing too this one uh, i'd like to share as a social worker in the USA, I find myself coming back to this video again and again to remind myself that God is so much more than those who try and represent them. The scene at the end where the figure takes a deep breath and get to work and the very end of the seemingly endless task of pulling people out of injustice bring me to tear every time it represents my feelings so well even me too and there is a other replies on the comment you know it's so nice to read these comments when i read these comments i feel like here more the here I am a retired social worker. I get what you are saying. Hang in there. You are changing lives. God bless you. So this reply, how encouraging. So in this Bible project video, this whole con the comment section shows kind of encouragement and confession and you know sharing their feelings about the issues so it's so touch and I felt like oh this is like uh, every member ministries in there because these people I think are all brothers and sisters in Christ and they are really faithful in their lives try to do like uh, follow and obey uh, what the Bible talks about 
So in here, another longer uh, reply. You are called to fight on the behalf of those who cannot fight for themselves. Oh, it's so. Your your enemy is on all sides of you, but. Who can stand against your God? How powerful is it? Your Father, who is in heaven, has brought you here as a sign of His great love. A thousand voices have called out, asking, "Where are you, Lord?" And in response, He has sent you. Where you go, He will go also. Where you sleep. He will guard your rest. You are His, and He is yours. Beware, my friend. Probably some of you hear this comment, you know, reply. Uh, who is in the commenters, you know, shoes? We are all getting encouraged. That's why I wanted to share these all wonderful comment comments. Here, uh, you know, one other comment. When I vacationed in Cuba, I hurt my hand pretty bad, and I was in a bad mood. This beggar came up to me, an old woman. She seemed homeless and put her hands out for money. I shooed her away, or just sighed, or something. I can't remember. I was in pain and didn't want to deal with her. She wasn't the usual con, usual con artist, trying to draw a picture of you while you walk and try to force you to give you money. She was just begging. I thought about what I had just done and prayed to God. Lord, if you want me to help that woman, put her in my path. Once more, sure enough, after a couple blocks down, I see her sitting against the wall, looking sad. It tore my heart apart as it seemed she gave up after me. I gave her all the cash I had in my pocket and watched her face shine like I had never seen before. I had to give thanks to God for convincing me of my actions and the gift he gave me once I did the right thing. What an amazing story you can tell. Uh, you know, all the wonderful comment you can see. Here even, I am in law school. So I love to watch videos about justice in a Christian way. Christian way, so important, right? Thank you so much, Bible Project. And here replies, yeah. You know, all sharing and encouraging words are there. How nice. Even this sh short, treating others as the image of God. Wow, that hit me. Yeah, we have to keep remember and remind these things of each other. Together, when we mentioning, you know, some other things when we share, we should remind each other. Oops, battery is now not enough. So I'm gonna put, uh, wait a second, if possible. Oh, I didn't think. Uh, hopefully, oh good. Yeah, something can happen in between. Even I don't know how much. He, oh, yes. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to share the justice. Especially um, generosity and justice, righteousness. You know what? I think very, very important. Um, 
topics we have to deal with and we have uh, the we have to have very very proper view of the things in biblical way here i have watched this so many times and it still gets me every time especially the last illustration this is a whole new level of loving one another that i am still learning to unfold that's why yes, you have to go to watch this video i left uh, there for you guys <laughs> Having the courage to speak up for those who have no voice and treating others as the image of God. Wow. Thank you, Bible Project, for the awesome videos. So, because um, always I have some heart, but it's very not easy to show the heart to the needy. You know, when we are just busy doing our lives, you know, everyday lives. But if there is any chance, we should practice uh, what we are supposed to do. Here, I am a first year law student. Justice is one of the core definitions of law. And I was saddened to see that some professors pointed out it was a feeling or that it was completely subjective, though yes, it happens. But looking to the concept from the Bible perspective is the most beautiful and truthful definition of justice. Glad this was addressed by such a good video. May God bless everyone. Even here, I am a follower of Buddha, and I find your project great. It feels like you have presented the topics of Bible pretty honestly. Thanks to you that I know I now know the story of a Bible. So the Bible project, you know, dealing with this issue, bring some uh, people from other religion to think about. Uh, Bible. So somebody answered, Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Yeah, that's uh, what I want to happen to my channel. But still, um, I have some technical issues. I'm trying to figure it out but more clearly, can show you. Anyway, now I wanted to make it more brighter. I learned something from my youngest, uh, how to make it this way, but the, uh, which is going to be more uh, good for you to watch. And this is not going forever. It's just uh, happening once and, and it's dimmed again. Uh, anyway, we'll see and I'm going to try to do my best for the next video. So today, I cannot share all the uh, comments in the video but it is so amazing to read so when you are feeling uh, like depressed or you need some good word from uh, the friends or when you feel like just go to see uh, the Bible project some titles you know, I searched it with the Bible project, the keyword justice, the other day. And I found this wonderful video, but which doesn't have any Bible project comments. So that's why I looking at the other comments, how people think about justice and about this video was amazing, was wonderful. So yeah, today's issue, we need to think about more about justice. In biblical way not only uh, one side or two side yes yeah, so thank you for watching uh, being with me and thank you I I wish God bless you who has a wonderful heart for the needy and who is vulnerable who need care. Thank you. 
שלום.